Hey guys, Day Strider here again, bringing to you a continuation of uh, Batman Episode 1 by Telltale Games. And just as a recap, I'm meeting Oswald Cobblepot in Cobblepot Park. And then there's a guy here warming his hands. This doesn't look like a very good park, but whatever. Okay. Is that Armstrong? Alright, anything else? Can I talk to this guy? Guess not. Thank you, sir. Why the hell are we meeting here at six in the morning? Meet you by the statue. Oh, great. Well, there's the statue, but no Oz. He just said he was running late. Let's look at the shopping cart. It is a very fascinating shopping cart. Thanks for pointing that out. Hey. Beat it. Okay. Black. Isn't what it used to be. No shit. All right, that was very, very exciting. So, statue it is. Watch wallet cash. Oh, this will go well. But this goes through you. Hey, you heard him, man. The hell are you waiting for? Huh? Go ahead. Try and take it. The hell do you say? He and didn't him. stutter. What the hell? Gentlemen! Oz. Keep walking, all right? This don't concern you, twerp! You see, that's where you're mistaken. My old mate and I have some catching up to do. And you're oh. in the moment! Come here! Think that'll do! Okay then. Block. Oh. Stay down! Ooh. Of course there's a gun. Be a nice place. No lives like you don't belong. Oh. Oh. This is my park. Mine. You hear that? You've got red on you. Uh, oh. Hey, Bruce. You've got a little, uh. Eh. Yeah, good as new. Woo! That was the right little scrap, eh? Nothing kickstarts the system like a dash of adrenaline, eh? Well, thanks for the backup. 
I yanked you away from your bloody ivory tower, Bruce. Least I can do is make sure you don't get shanked. Oh, that's very thoughtful of you. Yeah, it's been what? Two decades. That's a and long no time. I haven't been mugged once that entire time. <laughs> uh, yeah, that wasn't why I brought you here, mate. Right now, I am trying to recognize the little Bruce I used to run around this place with. Back when it wasn't, you know, like this. This park used to mean something. A place that was safe for kids, for families. People came from all over to visit. It's a shame what happened. It was beautiful once. And now it's a hellhole. Last thing my parents ever built. <sighs> this city chews right through people. <sighs> Mum committed to Arkham. Dad. Ended it yourself, he did. My family's fortune. There's nothing left, Bruce. I know. Alfred told me. <sighs> it's funny, huh? Same place that ground my family to dust. Gave you the good life. Mm -hmm. Used to run in the same circles we did. Hovnobbing parties, round the world vacations, unlimited potential. Now mm. all I got is this park. My parents are gone too, Oz. I know, Bruce, I know. I'm sorry for it. But I have my own funerals to attend. Good to know you haven't changed, Bruce. You still care about something more than just yourself. Although, I was surprised to see Carmine Falcone at your party last night. Oh, uh, I think he was too, man. Made himself right at home. That oily... <sighs> Falcone was an uninvited guest. That's it. I never want to see his face again. On that, you we punch his face. Falcone made a stack of cash and corpses a mile high, ruining families like mine. All he needs is a little push. And it'll be a treat to watch him at pavement. Yes, it will. Sorry, mate. This reunion got a lot more grim than I planned. Things are going to be on the upswing soon, no? A revolution is knocking on Gotham's door. And I'm here to let it in. Which brings me to you, Bruce. You see, you throw a rock in any direction, you break a window that Wayne Enterprises owns. As the rich and powerful go, oh, you top Gotham's list. But when my revolution starts, we're gonna smash windows and cross off names all the way down. Like I said, it's not gonna be pretty. It's gonna be beautiful. I'm not your enemy, Oz. That remains to be seen, don't it? Hmm. I've got great affection for you, Bruce. I really do. Which is why I'm warning you. When this whole thing starts, make sure you're on the right side. What side is that? Good seeing you, Bruce, but I got some rocks to collect. Cheers. Yay. Press conference. That's a really nice car. Mr. Wayne, over here, right here. Where else this way. would he be going? Bruce, Bruce! Good morning, everyone. Morning, Mr. Dent. Hey, Bruce, you mind if we swap cars? I mean, mine isn't fast and the paint's rusting off, but... Boy, does she have charm. <laughs> ha, ha, ha. We bring you all out here to discuss cars, honestly. <sighs> now, we're here 
about Arkham Asylum. Hmm. Ever since it opened its doors, Arkham has been a breeding ground for the criminally insane. Its methods for rehabilitation, crude. Its security, lacking. And worse still, those who do get out, or What's God forbid, escape, are even more dangerous than before they went in. Arkham Asylum is a cancer on Gotham. <clears throat> but today, with a sizable contribution from this man here, we break ground on a state-of-the-art mental health care facility. One that will improve the well-being of Gotham and its citizens for years to come. Now, Mr. Wayne has a few words he'd like to say. Bruce? My parents loved Gotham. They invested their blood, sweat, and tears in this city. <sighs> you know, when I was... Uh, Nine years old. Here we go. My parents took me to see a movie about a hero in a mask. It was a hero who stood up to oppression and defended the people from injustice, no matter the cost. That night, my parents paid the ultimate cost defending me from a man <clears throat> who needed the kind of help this new facility will provide. With this facility and our next mayor, we can put a dent in crime. Today, on the anniversary of that fateful night, we uh, dedicate the anniversary this facility too? to Thomas and Martha Wayne and usher in a new era of healing for Gotham. Hey, golf claps. I'm a. Uh, Sure, you all have plenty of questions about the new hospital, so let's open it up. You first, Miss Vale. Thank you. With the opening of this new hospital, what does this mean for Arkham Asylum? What happens to the old building? I... Uh, okay. I think Arkham has only done harm to Gotham. It's made criminals more unstable. Put our citizens in jeopardy. We can do better. All right, who's up next? Uh, you there. Mr. Wayne, Julia Remark of the Tribune. My sources say you welcomed alleged mob boss Carmine Falcone. I uh, know, he was uninvited. You even spoke with him behind closed doors. I don't make friends with gangsters. He was an unwelcome guest. That's all. Next question, please. Please keep your questions on topic, people. We're here about the hospital, remember? But Mr. Wayne, this morning the Globe received evidence of an offshore bank account managed by Carmine Falcone and your father, Thomas Wayne. What exactly are you implying? What? Transactions connected to organized crime going back years and continuing to this day. The paper trail ties your family directly to the mob. Um. Care to comment? And did anyone else receive this evidence? The Globe, the Gazette, we all did. Mr. Wayne, Mr. Wayne, is all your money dirty? Is the Wayne family legacy built on lies? Oh, you know this is great. This, Bruce? How long has your family been dealing with Falcone? Could the allegations be true? What are you telling us? <laughs> I think you should check your source. Sounds to me like an intern is finally putting their creative writing minor to good use. Mr. Wayne, Mr. Wayne! How long has your family been dealing with Falcone? Oh, God. Could the allegations be true? Did you know about this, Bruce? What are you telling us? I'm sorry about this, Bruce. I don't know where the hell it's coming from. Neither do I. My territory. We'll talk later. Everyone, everyone, please settle down. I'll be fielding your questions from here on out. Please, let's try to keep this civilized. Bruce, I've been trying to reach you. The police are inside the manor. Well, that's great. Hey, hey, careful! Put it back. I'm afraid we can't, Mr. Wayne. Says who? This warrant. It's not personal. I had the boys turn the lights off, keep a low profile. I understand. You're just doing your job, Lieutenant. Trying to. 
It's hard to be a cop in this city. No Every shit. It battles uphill in the rain with skates on. Alfred, keep an eye on them. Make sure they only take what they have to. Of course, sir. I meant what I said about not personal. We only want files related to Wayne Enterprises. The warrant covers your place, pardon me, places of residence, and any companies you own. And what do you expect to find? That's for our analysts back at the precinct to figure out. I can't comment. It's a well, of course warrant. not. I gotta serve it. Mayor Hill signed up on this himself. Oh, that guy. As long as he's mayor, he calls the shots. Well, Hill has a history of making his opposition disappear. Hmm. Rumors and allegations, Mr. Wayne, that's all. But if they become fact, I'll handcuff him myself, same as any other crook. I don't know how your neck ended up on Mayor Hill's shopping block, but here we are. Hill knows if I go down, Harvey's campaign goes down too. That'd be a real shame. Mr. Dent's the only DA I ever trusted to make a conviction stick. As mayor, I think he can finally turn things around for us. For all our sakes, I pray uh -huh. you've got nothing to hide. Just don't look in the basement. <laughs> oh. Dick. Oh, is this going to be a picture of his parents? Probably is. Yep. Bruce, stay back. Flashback time. Take whatever you want. You, you don't have to do this. I didn't mean to interrupt, but... Uh, it's... It's not a problem, really. Ah, oh, Bruce. First the mayor's office, now Wayne Manor. <laughs> Gotham continues its streak of break-ins. <laughs> really going for the record, huh? Listen, Bruce. A scandal surrounding a beloved family like yours captures the public's attention. I can help you get the right kind of attention. Through my connections at the Gazette, I have all kinds of access. I can dig up whatever you need to fight this. Hmm. What's your angle? Not all reporters just want a headline. Some of us are old-fashioned. I still want the truth. Hmm. The Gazette received this supposed evidence like every other media outlet. And it's all hearsay. Flimsy sources. There isn't a shred of hard proof. Still, allegations like this, they, they don't magically appear. Someone is going after my family. After me. Obviously, the sender didn't identify themselves. We have no idea who it could be. I mean, no one's even done their due diligence on this yet. The press saw the fumble, mm. they grabbed the ball, and ran. Not every day you get to go after a Wayne. Hill wants me out of the picture because with my backing, Harvey wins in a landslide. All signs point to Hill. You're a kingmaker, hmm. Mr. Wayne. And Harvey Dent is Gotham's knight in shining armor just waiting for the crown. You're the first target on Hill's list. Hmm. By tonight, this scandal will be broadcast to every screen in Gotham. Everyone will be talking about it. This isn't my first pass through the rumor mill. I know the damage it can do. Then go on the record. Right here, right now, and stop it. You need to get out ahead of this. Your side is what matters, not wild speculation. Yeah, that's fair enough. On the record, then. Whenever you're ready. Um. This story about my family is exactly that. A story. It's a work of fiction all the way through. That's exactly what the people of Gotham need to hear. Okay. You're gonna beat this, Bruce. The Waynes always come out on top. Goodbye, Miss Rail. 
A little bit of uh, sexual tension there. Also innuendos. I hate to admit it, but everyone smells smoke. A fire is heading this way. Batman has made plenty of enemies, but my family... We've done nothing but support Gotham, even in its darkest days. All this on the anniversary of your parents? It's not a coincidence. Harvey's the district attorney. He should have told me this was coming. Then find out why he didn't. Cafe Triste. Oh. A warrant? What the hell's going on? Wait, does this have to do with what the reporters were talking about this morning? That press conference turned into a bloodbath. No shit. Yeah, someone's coming after me. Let's avoid making another scene, shall we? The press is already up my ass as it is. Oh, where? Where? Mayor Hill authorized this? Yeah. Then the cops raid my house, taking everything related to Wayne Enterprises. Computers, hard drives, files. Oh, son of a bitch. You're the goddamn DA, Harvey. I didn't know about this. I swear. Hill totally blindsided me on this one. God damn it. He has no right to issue search warrants without my okay. Hmm. You owe me an explanation. And I will get you one. Straight from Mayor Hill's mouth. Okay. I just don't get it. Why would Hill stick his neck out over this? Just to tangle you up in some frivolous investigation? That just doesn't make sense. I mean, what could he possibly hope to accomplish other than a few cheap headlines? Let's Do you think Falcone could be behind it? He didn't seem too thrilled after the fundraiser. <laughs> yeah, I kind of told him to fuck off. Oh, God, what a mess. Bruce, I wish I could just make this go away, but I'm not sure if I can. If I get in the way of this investigation, he would be able to spin it as a conflict of interest. And that wouldn't be good for either of us. It would jeopardize the entire campaign. All right. Then I'll go it alone. I've got plenty of resources to fight this. We're in a bind here, Bruce. I'll do whatever I can to help. First it was you, you, you. Now it's we. Hey, you. Sorry. Uh, I got a habit of being uh, late. No, no. Just glad you made it. I wonder who this could be. Well then. You didn't tell me you were bringing a friend to dinner. This is Selena. I Selena hope I'm not Kyle. Anything. Just election nonsense. Mm. I think we both welcome a change of topic. Mm. I think we've met before. You do look familiar. Everyone knows who Bruce Wayne is. Do they? Pleasure to meet you, Miss Kyle. It's a strong grip you've got there. <laughs> Don't worry. I'm not gonna fall. Hmm. Oh, right. Sorry. Selena's new to town. I've been showing her around Gotham, introducing her to people. You're an excellent tour guide, Harv. Well, if I lose the election, I guess I can drive what one happens of those to your eye? tour buses around town. How'd you get that shiner? Bruce? It's okay. Money doesn't buy manners, right? Hmm. I was mugged. I'm just angry I let that masked freak get away with all my stuff. <laughs> I still can't believe I let you walk home alone. I should have called you a car. Well, I sure hope whatever he took wasn't too valuable. Actually, it was. It's probably long gone by now. Whatever that idiot took. I hope not. These were important materials. Ooh. Sensitive? Very. I don't know how I'm going to explain this to my client. When things like this happen in my line of work, people tend to overreact. So, what do you do for a living? It's I rob people? High risk, high reward. Ah, stock market, huh? <laughs> Something like that. At least I'm not the only one who's taken a beating. That press conference? Oof. We've got it under control. Do you? Do you? I'll handle it. Someone at my office has to know what's going on. Ugh. Uh, excuse me a moment. Hey, it's Harvey. What 
What if it was calling Falcone? Hmm. Who knows? But they know each other. Nice to meet the real you. Hmm. Likewise. This explains a lot, actually. How you can afford the fancy armor, the toys. Wouldn't Harvey be surprised? <laughs> Not to mention, everyone in this cafe. Sorry about the black eye. It's not the first time a man's hit me. I'm <laughs> sorry to hear that. Don't worry. I'm not gonna expose you. Yet. I'm curious about something, though. I do what I do for money, but you're... Bruce Wayne. No shit. What's your excuse? I have to. But you... Why take the risk? Hmm. I think you know enough already. The rest is my secret. And here I was thinking we were starting to get somewhere. How disappointing. Hmm. You have something that belongs to me. I want it back. This is awkward for me. I'm used to robbing people, not the one being robbed. Who hired you to break into the mayor's office? My clients prefer to remain confidential. As they, they always do. I, I don't know who they are. But you know who I am. These people I'm working for, they don't screw around. If I fail to deliver that drive, it's going to cost a lot more than money. Well, looks like you've made your bed. No, we've made this bed. And I'm not going to lie in it alone. Huh. You owe me. If they don't get what they want, there will be consequences. All right, you want my help? Get in bed with her. <laughs> what can I do? You can give me back the drive. <laughs> not possible. Listen, I don't have a lot of time. My employer is expecting me to drop it off. Where? Just give it back. The address, now. No, give me the drive. You're just going to have to trust me. I don't do trust. I guess I'm screwed either way. My contact. He'll be expecting a cat, not a bat. When are you mm. supposed to meet him? Fifteen minutes ago. What? Fifteen minutes ago. Everything okay here? You tell me. I have my people working on it. We're gonna straighten everything out. I feel better already. Mm-hmm. Sorry, but I've got to run. So soon? Aren't you gonna stay for a drink? Yeah, Bruce. Stay for a drink? <laughs> I'd love to, but I've got another appointment and I really don't want to be late for it. Oh, all right then. Don't forget to change into your suit. Your other suit. No, yeah, don't screw it up. Alfred, I'm at the warehouse. No sign of Catwoman's contact. It's quiet. The sound of an ambush. Stay on guard. No shit. <laughs> okay. Oh, right. <clears throat> This wasn't a handoff. It was a massacre. No shit. How many? I'd have to count the pieces. Oh, good lord. Who could have done such a thing? That's what I'm gonna find out. Gordon, Eastside Docks, Warehouse 133. Oh, there are parts. Right. Okay, guys, I'm going to cut this episode here. Thank you for watching. Stay tuned for the next part where I'll be uh, presumably investigating this scene. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned.